Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to hashing your passwords. We're going to be hashing passwords. Going back to information security section, you may remember that storing plain text passwords is never okay. Now it's time to implement bcrypt to solve this password. Um, bcrypt as a, add bcrypt as a dependency and require it on your server. You will need to handle hashing in two key areas where the handle registering and saving of a new account and then when you check it to see that a password is correct on login. So you need to handle it when, they're regist when you're registering a new user and you're saving their account and you also need to be able to, to um, handle that uh, hash on the passport when they're logging in. So currently on our registration route, you insert <clears throat> a user's password into the database like password, rec.body.password. An easy way to implement saving a hash instead is to add the following before your database logic. So we create a hash situation here and we're using bcrypt. So we wanna require bcrypt as bcrypt. And then we wanna replace the rec.body.password, so this part right here with, uh, in the, uh, in the database, saving with just password is equal to hash. Hash. So password is equal to uh, just the hash, which we set up here. So instead of having the password is equal to rec.body.password, we're going to want it to be hash. So finally, on our authentication strategy, we check for the following in our code before committing completing the process. If password is not equal to user.password, return done, null, false. After making the previous changes, now user.password, so this guy user.password is a hash. So before making a change to the existing code, notice that the statement is checking if the password is not equal to, not equal, then return non-authenticated. With this in mind, you, your code could look as follows to properly check the password entered, entering against the hash. So if it's not bcrypt.comparesync, so the password and the user password, then we return done, null, false. This is all it takes to implement one of the most important security features you have to store. Okay, cool. So let's uh, squinch this guy over here and then scroll up to the top. So the first thing we want to do is um, <clears throat> add bcrypt as a dependency. And so here's the uh, bcrypt uh, documentation. And so if we scroll down here, uh, we can do we can add it multiple ways, but what we can do is we can just install it via N NPM now. And I'm just going to go over to package.json. You'll see our dependencies does not have bcrypt in it here now. But if we go to our terminal, and you can see that we're within the boilerplate advanced node project. If I NPM install bcrypt, we'll see it pop up somewhere in these dependencies here. NPM install bcrypt. Okay, cool. So now we see bcrypt has been added to our application here. So now what we want to do is uh, require it within our folder. And so they give you some things here. But here they tell you <clears throat> how they suggest you require it. And const bcrypt is equal to require. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have to do all of that stuff. But they, Free Code Camp just says that they want us to require it. So that's just, let's just do it here. And so... Um, yeah, we'll just throw it down at the bottom. Bcrypt is equal to require bcrypt. And now that we have bcrypt, we can just go back and start following the free code camp advanced. Uh, if we run into errors or something like that, then we'll use the uh, documentation to deal with it. Uh, <clears throat> you need to handle hashing in two key areas where you register. Okay, so two key areas are here. So our registration, currently on our registration route, let's find the registration route. We come down here, route for there. We have a, okay, here's our registration route. Uh, when we save, when you insert a user's password into the database like this, password is equal to rec.body.password. Rec.body.password. Now we want to shift that out. An easy way to implement hashing 
uh, instead is to avo is to add the following before your database logic. So we want to add um, const hash bcrypt this guy and replace that replace the hash in here. So um, we want to add that before our database logic. Hash bcrypt hash things rect body dot twelve. Does that mean here? We want to add this before our database logic. This is our database logic. So I'm going to guess, I'm guessing that we throw it in here. We'll throw it in directly after, underneath the bcrypt. And so this hash will be exact, is available within this uh, area. And so what we want to do is instead of saying password is equal to rec.body.password, we want to just set it equal to our hash, which we get up here where we go you know, bsync hash. Okay. I don't think that this is right because we don't have the request in here. We want to have it down here somewhere. So I'm going back to register my database. Find one. I think on our post we want to do this, and then here we want to just pass in hash. All right. So <clears throat> basically, we're saying we're creating a constant of hash. Uh, we're saying bcrypt.hashsync, and then we're taking the rec.body.password. User, this is database follow. We have our rec said here, so I think that we can have it within there. And then else we're saying there, so we'll have access to the hash from there. Cool, I think that that's good. Uh, so finally, on our authentication strategy, we check to see if the following in our code before committing, compl comp completing the process. So if password is not equal, so uh, finally on our authentication strategy, we check for the following in our code before completing the process. So our strategy is this guy. Um, if password is not equal to there, let's see. If password is not equal to user password, so this is what they're talking about. Um, we want to return null false done so we're doing this guy after making the previous changes now user.password is a hash so now our user password is the hash before making a change to the existing code notice how the statement is checking if the password is not equal to then return non-authenticated so if the password is not equal to that uh, uh, it's not equal to with this in mind your code could look something like this to properly check the password if entered against the hash. So if bcrypt compare sync, and then we've got our password and our user.password, then we return done null false. So if, okay, so instead of it being like this, we can use bcrypt, which seems to have this function. Uh, bcrypt.compare sync and so now we're, what we're doing is we're using bcrypt bcrypt to compare the sync and the user.password which is being passed in is going to be thrown into the hashing algorithm which is the bcrypt and then if it um if they match then it will not render but if it does match then they'll return null and false which will cause the authentication to fail cool so let's save that and I think that we've got that one done. So it's difficult to do this because we don't have users that we can authenticate. So we'll just push our code up to the production server and see if it works. So git add and git commit, um, add bcrypt and an authentication and update the authentication strategy. We'll get push Heroku master. And then once this is pushed up to our production server, we should have an idea as to whether or not we did this properly. Okay, it looks like we've pushed our code up and so we can just grab our uh, URL from Heroku and throw it into here. So you complete the challenge. Awesome, looks like we've completed another one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.